to understand the meaning of the life and the death of Jesus and the meaning of their lives as his disciples. It is this dimension, that of discipleship in Jesus, that perhaps best describes the nature of our Franciscan gospel adventure and also the nature of the consecrated life in the church and the world today. We remember that the disciples were talking as they walked, sharing stories of faith, rereading the events of their lives with eyes of faith fixed on Jesus, only Jesus. It is precisely during this experience of the sharing of life and faith that they met up with Jesus, although we know that they did not recognize him at first. In your work and sharing these days, you also have been on a journey together, on the road, walking towards Jesus. You have shared your hopes and dreams, your concerns and struggles related to your service as secretaries and formators in your respective entities. I want to thank you for your faithful witness to the gospel life and for your service to your entities. It is through your witness of life and commitment to promoting the full human, Christian, and Franciscan dignity and values that are at the nucleus of our former vita, that, that of Franciscan formation, permanent and initial. It is this, by this way, that our lives can move forward. On behalf of the Vicar General, the General Definitorium, present here today with you, and also of the entire order, I thank you and I assure you of our prayers and support as you continue in this most important ministry. I also want to thank once again the brothers who serve as General Secretary and Vice Secretary and also as an assistant at the General Courier, Brothers Vidal, Sergius and Adriano. We are blessed to have you in the General Curia, and we give thanks to God for the service you have and will provide to the Universal Brotherhood. As you prepare to go back to the Jerusalem sites, from where you have come, returning to your respective entities, I would ask you to do as the two Emmaus disciples did, namely, to tell the story of what you have experienced here in the CC these days in your sharing with other brothers of the order, brothers coming from very different geographical, cultural, linguistic, and ecclesial zones. In order to do this, however, you must be clear about what you have experienced. I would ask you to share the final text of the Congress document of all the brothers, beginning with the provincial, custos, definitors, and with all brothers directly involved in formation work and progressively to share what you have received with all the brothers of your respective entities. From a pedagogical point of view, I would suggest that you think about formulating questions to accompany the final document, to formulate these questions in a way that makes all the brothers of your entity feel engaged and responsible for promoting the gospel life at all stages of formation, 
beginning as you have heard on more than one occasion during these days, with permanent ongoing formation and also with initial formation. The material you have been dis discussing will require the participation of all friars in the formation process, which, as our documents remind us, is a lifelong commitment to conversion and transformation. There is probably no other hope for the renewal of our entities and for the future of our gospel life than that of permanent formation. But we must create ways to help all of the brothers rediscover this missing dimension of our lives. In addition to highlighting once again the critical importance of permanent ongoing formation as the source for promoting conversion and transformation, I also would like to underscore the central role that accompaniment plays in this process. It is clear that this accompaniment must become a regular part of life of the local fraternities. Guardians must be convinced that accompaniment is perhaps the key dimension of their role, and not simply the organizing of the schedule, the welcoming of guests, and making sure that the material needs of the brothers are met. It is becoming ever more clear throughout the order that there is a great need for the accompaniment of all of us, all friars, not just those in initial formation. This need will continue to make itself felt in a diversity of ways throughout the order in the coming future as it appears to be part of the multiple realities and conditions of postmodernism. But the need for accompaniment at all moments in our Franciscan life is not only motivated by conditions related to postmodernity. The story of Emmaus and other biblical texts, the documents of the church and the order related to the renewal of religious life, and the expressed needs of the brothers to feel they belong to something much greater than themselves, that they are part of a gospel brotherhood, and that this gospel brotherhood has a message and a mission in the world today. These are perhaps the deeper reasons why accompaniment is becoming ever more important for our lives. May God bless you as you return to the brothers and as you share what you have heard, what you have experienced during your vacation here in the season, and what you believe to be true and essential for the life of our gospel brotherhood and our Emmaus journey of discipleship in the Lord Jesus. Please be assured of our prayers and support as you go forth to live what you have experienced and to share what you live, the authentic witness of the gospel life. I close with the words of a prayer from Francis, our father and co-disciple. Alto e glorioso Dio, illumina le tenebre del cuore mio e dammi fede vetta, speranza certa e carità perfetta, seno e conoscimento, o oh Signore, perché adempia il tuo santo e verace comandamento. Thank you. Now we will have some small announcements made by Brother Andrea regarding.